Our goal is to not turn anyone away. You want to come and practice your faith, this is the place to do it. With the motto of by women for women, the Women's Mosque of Canada is one of the first in the city and country. Months after launching, they finally found a community to call their own, Toronto's Regent Park. But they're still having challenges finding a permanent physical space. There's a lot of Islamophobia, there's some systemic issues that are happening, there's laws that are being revealed around the country that are very anti-Muslim. So we want to be able to acknowledge that Muslim women need a place for healing and that's what we're trying to provide. Fareen Khan is one big step closer to her vision, a world where Muslim women are the leaders of their own mosques, a role traditionally held by men. We're discouraged from coming to the mosque and engaging in faith leadership. The group launched back in April, holding their first prayer inside a church at Bloor and Spadina and traveling throughout the GTA since then. But today they held their first prayer in their new community, Regent Park, inside a presentation center. This is a neighborhood they say has embraced them. We have a lot of Muslim women who are living here and the Muslim population are increasing in down, downtown core as well. But there's still one major challenge for the Women's Mosque of Canada. They don't have a physical space yet. They are now in the process of fundraising money to get a place. Until then, they'll be holding Friday prayers at the Center for Social Innovation inside Daniel Spectrum. We're looking for everyone to say, you know, yes, this is a need, let's make this happen. They're determined to have a presence in Toronto, saying it will benefit many, not only those in the downtown core. Today, women from all different backgrounds, including non-Muslims, attended. This Muslim woman came from Etobicoke. It was something that was just waiting to happen, and I'm sure there'll be more. You know, I always said if I won the lottery, that's what I would do, is open a women's mosque. The organization wants to cultivate a culture where women feel valued, to hear their voices, share their stories, as they come together to worship. I wish I had something like this to go to when I was struggling, and it would have given me so much hope and so much power to believe in myself and know that I am worthy. And local city councillor Kristen Wong Tem says the city of Toronto stands behind them. Creating those safe cultural spaces, uh, appropriate spaces for faith, uh, is uh, important to me. And knowing that the community has this additional option is great. The group says it'll take about six to eight months before they find that permanent space here in Regent Park. For now, they'll be holding their Friday prayers at the center. For City News, I'm Faisal Ming.